my name is Eric from Games My Hyper, and today I want to show you that and walk through of the choppable trees or the tree cutting system. So let's dive into it. So when we start uh, uh, the project, we will uh, see this example room, and it will first show you what kind of settings you would need. For instance, uh, this character is using an enhanced input system for the controls, but also for chopping the tree and also opening an inventory system. And this inventory system is actually included into the system. However, it's only here as an example, so it has uh, limited functionalities and it's not intended anyway uh, to be used as a full inventory system. It shows you what project settings to use, um, which components to add to your character, and of course the controls. So let's dive into it because this is the room where it all happens. And as you can see, I have set up two different trees. And one is a material offset based and one is chaos based. And the chaos based is harder to set up. Uh, you need to split the tree in yourself and um, the middle geometry needs to be chaos geometry. And it makes it all also kind of less predictable and also less stable. However, it has some quite nice effects. The material offset one is just a static mesh. And the static mesh, uh, you don't need to split it. You don't need to do anything with it. You can just apply a uh, material offset. Uh, and that's function I've already made for you. You drag and drop that into your trunk material. And uh, you can drag and drop a configurable or placeable tree uh, like so. And you can chop it down. So even though you see these effects, um, it has nothing to do um, uh, uh, with the static mesh. It's all material based. So when you've chopped down a tree, uh, it will spawn some logs and you can interact with these logs to uh, retrieve them in your inventory. So let's cut all the trees down. Um, and also when the tree is being cut, it is done via a procedural split. And the procedural split makes sure that you uh, are not required to do anything at all with, uh, with Blender or Maya or whatever. So let's cut down all the trees like so. And I've included, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven examples of uh, of uh, trees to chop down. Um, so you can just uh, directly use them in your own project. Perfect. And as you can see, it will show a ring material um, when you have chopped it down. So let's go to the chaos geometry. I just talked about uh, that you need to split the chaos geometry up and that's uh, uh, like this. And the middle geometry will be the um, chaos geometry. So that's destructible. And here we have four chaos trees. And if we're going to chop them down, you can see it breaks down the specific parts of that geometry. And we are not able to uh, uh, hit it continuously at the same space because of course there's nothing to chop anymore because we already chopped it down. So this is more like a mini game. You need to uh, walk around the tree and make sure to uh, 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 chop the uh, geometry. And eventually if you chop down sufficient geometry, it will break, the tree will fall and uh, the logs will spawn. It also will keep the trunk, and the trunk is here for respawning. If you destroy the trunk, it won't respawn anymore. And of course, that's fully configurable. So I've set it up. You can uh, check some booleans. You have some uh, float value for respawn times. Um, so I think that is quite easy to do. Um, for the chaos trees, I only have four examples um, because they are harder to set up. And for um, the material offset ones, I got seven. So yeah, uh, I think this is about it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we can pick up as many logs uh, uh, as we would like. And uh, 
I think in a later stage you would want to uh, uh, make sure to uh, uh, connect this to your inventory system. Okay, uh, I think this is it. I think this gives a perfect overview of what the system is capable of and also um, how to set it up. I think I will wish you a nice day. Bye. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.